Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. Have you heard of this song? It's called If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's far oh, wow. away from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. Aww. The scenery. The people and the dreams. Without being disturbed by anyone. You gonna talk to me now? How beautiful. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna just turn this Time off a minute. Is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection. The Wandering Ranger and the IPC Ambassador, the Astral Express Nameless, and me. You can tell me what's going on. This song's making me emotional. Everyone falls asleep here equally, regardless of our different agendas. I'm sorry. I really am still away. I know. I knew I couldn't hide it from you. So cute. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. It was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like many of the Penacone locals. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. The family takes them in, but they don't. They don't belong here. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penacone, but. Some have dreams that are no different from reality. Song's making me emotional, Even people. Though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. What would that be? What's your wish? Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away, and the process is barely noticeable to others. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. So how can I possibly resist it? I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So 
Although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Just like this moment. Leave me trapped in the cage. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least... I really hope things don't turn out that way. What are you exactly? I'll tell you. But... Not now. Bro, she is literally making me cry. <laughs> Look at this. Look at her. She is too fucking adorable. And you're telling me that she's a bad guy. <laughs> In my dream, I saw a scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water, and the future that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? I think... It's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. Oh, fuck. Um, oh. Don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Pom Pom would call us down with a spray water with a spray down of water from a spray can. Don Han would tell us dry jokes with a deadpan expression. I don't think Don Han would do that. Himiko would make coffee for us, yes. Miss Jan would try to change our subject. March would force us to take a selfie with her. Don Han would tell us dry jokes with a deadpan jokes. expression. Oh I I don't really have a good sense of humor. Yeah. Perhaps we can think of another way? Pom Pom would cool us down with water from a spray can. Spray can? That's rough. Yeah, that's Pom Pom. Perhaps there's something else we can do? She's probably going to say about March, so I'm leaving her for last. Himiko would make coffee for us. Coffee? Well, we can't really make that here. Right. Aren't there other crew members we can take inspiration from? Um, Mr. Yang would try to change the subject. I have been trying to do that, but I think I failed. Maybe there are other things that you guys do? March would force us to take a selfie with her. Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times, why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. Sure. I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. The girl hands the phone to you, her eyes filled with expectation. You take the photo, launch the camera app, or take the photo, launch the camera app, and switch to the front facing camera effort effortlessly. Then extending your arm, you hold the phone at a distance, ensuring you both are captured in the fray. Ready. I'm good. <laughs> Let's do this. One, two, two, three. Cheese. Cheese, you're a prick. Oh. Oh shit, Astro Express. Are we all having fun? Lots of fun, sure, but something feels off. It doesn't feel very real. It's odd. I can't describe it. 
We're in a dream, after all. I saw a guy wearing a plaster head sculpture at the auction and he walked off without doing anything. That's pretty suspicious. I also had some unpleasant discoveries. It's a bit complicated. It's best if we meet up face to face. Me too. Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. Do you have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. It already does. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on. Let's say goodbye, Golden Hour. If I could stop one heart from breaking. Oh, we get it with music. Look at this view, guys, Al. Stunning. I would literally leave my character here all day and just, like, listen to the song. I wonder if they'll release it on um, Spotify when it becomes available. Come to think of it. I wonder if I have to go to the hotel to return to reality. Hmm. Strange. Where's everyone gone? Oh shit. That is a good point. Where has everyone gone? Sampo. What is he doing? Sampo. Is that guy up to no good again? We meet again, my dear. I don't like the look of that face. It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? Hey, look, listen, she's cute. You're just so blind. You want to fucking go? Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. We've always suspected him from day one. Oh, this brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? Yeah. You talk too much. Not too. Oh, I love your attitude, my dear. I have to admit you're different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? And as for you, the trailblazer who saved the ice world, I wonder how much others might have embellished Sempo's story when recounting the happenings on Yorello 6. It's surprising what tales they spin. Oh well. It was my problem for trusting him. What? I'm really, really disappointed in you. And I've been disappointed in you since day one. What about it? Uh oh. Um, excuse me. Oh! Excuse Why me? Don't you rest for a little while. Inside the real dreamscape. <laughs> oh. <sighs> this What is this place? I'm I'm gobsmacked. Have you gotten this far? Yeah, I just got past that part. Oh, it's fuck. It's trippy, and you're gonna get really confused really fucking quick. Oh my fucking god, I don't- that was hot, I'm not gonna lie. That was fucking hot, you do not know, wanna know what I'm thinking. <laughs> you don't wanna know what I was thinking. You know what the worst part is, is I actually have to stop recording now because, um, it's like 11 p.m. I have changed some settings around with my microphone, so hopefully I sound a bit better. But if I don't, let me know and I'll revert the previous settings. But let's get straight into it. I'm back at the hotel? No. This feeling. The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. Because my girl fucked shit up last episode. <laughs> Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. I've run into a little trouble. Message failed to send. Huh. Message failed to send. Shit. Can't get in touch with 
Yeah. Tea table. Afternoon tea for two. Who could they have been? Where could they have gone? This is too weird. Oh gosh. The workshop door is unlocked. Firefly? Oh. Huh. So you're really here too? Hi. Don't tell me we're dead. I don't know. Yet. <laughs> in any case, we must still be in a dream. It can't be anywhere else, much less reality. I'm never wrong about the distinctive sense of memoria that's in the air. Hmm. But this is very different from the sweet dream oh, that gosh. I'm familiar with. It's suffocating, silent, uneasy. And these floating words, can mm -hmm. you see them too? This kind of place would never exist on Pentaconi under the provision of the family. So, could this be a dream bubble? Maybe. No, that's not right. Do you remember, before we were unconscious, that friend of yours said the real dreamscape? That wasn't my friend, mate. This is the family secret? He's not my friend or this is the real dreamscape? This, this is the family secret? I'm not sure. Everything happened so quickly. But regardless, the family must be hiding something. Something about the truth of the dreamscape. Well, nobody's innocent. And you probably noticed it when you woke up as well. The ticking of clocks all around us. Mm hmm <sighs> My gut tells me that the secret hidden here is also linked to the mysterious watchmaker. If it points us towards the watchmaker's legacy, it will be connected to everyone who has melded to Pentaconi's dream. Yeah, it's, that's not good. Let's go. We have to move. Be it to find an exit or the truth. Gosh. Okay, right. Um. Well, first off, I will go this way because there is a chest there and I like chests. Through here. Let's take the way around from the side. Okay, I don't like this, people. This is me. This is making Dead me very... Here too. They're making me very uh, stressed. Way out of the room. Are they really suggesting we maneuver around using the walls? Obtain charge bubble. <sighs> Approach bubble tower and interact with it to obtain bubble charges. Okay, but what does that mean? While carrying bubble charges near a dispersed bubble, you can use bubble co um, converge to construct a bubble bridge. And they have two forms: concave and protruding. Okay. Oh, I see. I can't believe that worked. Tampering with the dreamscape's gravity is clearly strictly forbidden. E I'm gonna. There are some strange things on the wall, and they don't look like they're from the Dream Jolt Troop. Oh God, I don't like this. Mikhail. Yeah, th the name seems weird. Interacting with the bubble tower again will consume the bubble charges you are currently carrying. I will also make converged bubble bridges collapse to return to a normal state. Right, okay, that makes sense. Find you. Find you anywhere. Ah, right. We're gonna grab this. That's then gonna come back to me. Um, and then we can go on with our journey. Yep, okay, beautiful. Oh. Why is there so many, like, voices, though? This is what's confusing the crap out of me. We'll grab that. Oh, gosh. Hmm. It's too... overwhelming. The exit is on the other side? How are we going to cross over? Um, can we grab a whale? This is so trippy, man. Incredible. This is really a sight that can only be witnessed in a dream. These uh, words have been appearing and then vanishing persistently for a while now. Whose thoughts are they? And who is this Mikhail? No idea. There is a sadness to it. Mikhail, where have I heard this name? I think we have heard the name, haven't we? It's like I can oh. feel emotions contained within them. Confusion, fear, sadness. 
sadness a and others so faint I can barely feel them. Hmm. Unyielding resolve in the face of death. Hopefully my mic sounds better, by the way, because um, I've noticed some of my screams and shit has been cutting out, so I'm trying to fix it. Oh gosh. Don't like that. Seems to only be coming from this one woman though. It doesn't seem like there's like anything else. I'm just grabbing my free wish because I need them for sparkle. Pretty uncomfortable. That was a close one. But we made it. He's so oh strange. god. The family insists that the dreamscape is absolutely safe. Oh, obviously it's not. Shit. Okay. This is getting darker as the minutes are going by. Oh. There's nothing but a jigsaw puzzle here. And there's boss red here. Pieces look like they flew to both sides of the room. Fuck's sake. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Should fill in the empty spaces in the puzzle. I'm not liking the voices. It's making me feel like really up, really upsetty spaghetti. There we go. The wall has vanished. <laughs> Feels like we're reaching the end, right? I don't think it's going to be that easy. Oh god, we actually have to open the doors in this one. This is making me nervous. Uh, just one chest. I'm sure that's not a trap. <laughs> Should we open it? No! What's going on? Oh. The lights have all turned on. Shit. So creepy. Mm. But since there are so many doors here, we should be able to leave through one of them. Yeah, but how many doors are there? Leave this place through any portal. Oh my god. Okay. You know, when in doubt, go straight. I don't like that so loud. I really don't. I don't like this. It's when did hot. The exact same room? Oh my god. Oh shit. Uh, let's try this door. Okay. This room? This again. No, wait. Oh. Could it be? This one? on its weakness. Fuck me. Good times. Never oh rest. god, okay. I'm fighting a Durgan. Alright. Finally the end of it. Oh, my fucking excuse me. Shit. Using dot can quickly destroy it. Okay. Right, that's fine. We can use dots. We can use dots. Kafka's good with dots. Time to say bye. Oh my god. I'm not having letting anyone take my jingli from me, bro. This monster! All oh, these creatures! Are they the secret the family's hiding? Good I I mean there's a good shout, but whatever this fucking thing is, it needs to die. Okay, right guys, so my game actually crashed, which is really annoying. 
Um, I think it might have just been my computer overheating. Um, but don't worry, the rest of the footage is fine. This is why I recorded an MKV. But we... I've changed up my team a little bit. So I've now got Silver Wolf on my team. Just because I don't have anybody leveled in those elements what yet. this monster? And, um, yeah. Let's, so let's see how this goes. Is there no way to lose it? Apparently not. Because this thing is fucking difficult. Oh, shit. Uh, excuse me? Oh, you put her down. You fucking put her down right now. Put Firefly fucking down. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. We all know whose hands that is. If you there. don't know the right technique, oh. you might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. Oh my lord, okay. You are. Easy girl, I'm on your side. You can call me the memo keeper, Black Swan. She will assist. Oh, that is amazing. Right, okay. So we actually have some help this fight. That's good. Right, out of the two, I need Kafka more. So I'm going to get Kafka first. No, not my girls. Anyone but my girls. Oh, shit. That boss was too tough. See you next time. Oh. <laughs> Mommy's hot, I'm just saying. Oh my god, that was so stressful. My heart is actually like pounding. You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, boys. We winning. How was it? Did you dream of me? She knows what she's doing. Oh. Am I still alive? Welcome to reality. More specifically, the reverie. The safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm so surprised her booba didn't get nerfed. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. You're the Garden of Recollections memo keeper? Or Firefly, did she make it out? <laughs> You're quite concerned about that young lady. That's fair. She was hellbent on assuring your safety, even Aww. at the brink of death. Started to tug a little at my heartstrings, even. She can tug on my heartstrings. I many questions, so please, compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. Like, fuck. Oh, that boss is not to be trifled with, though, in all seriousness. That was fucking scary. Like, genuinely, that boss is probably one of the most terrifying oh, we've had so far. Vicious. Could it really just be a coincidence? Uh, I've got a funny feeling about that lady. Oh, really? But she did find and save her, too. The least we could do is listen to the other party's request. That memo keeper obviously came here with an agenda. We should remain vigilant. Look, guys, I didn't get knocked out because I wanted to. You know? Look, Miss Himiko, I brought the kid back as promised. The kid, bruh. You're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. My bed. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Uh, mm. You're Himiko's friend. Uh, not exactly. Miss Himiko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. <laughs> <laughs> not quite yet. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. 
So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? So a really hot chick knocked my forehead. So the one who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. She is mischievous and I love it. It seems you know her well. Of course, I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying, but the remembrance does not lie. Yeah, that's true. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations, but that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Penacony itself? Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. Mm-hmm. And the memory zone she fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, dangerous, enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. That's how I like my women. She's right. Everyone, do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? The deep sea. Huh. So everyone saw the same thing? I remember... Mm -hmm. well, it was a room. And then through a mirror. I came to a long hallway. Mm. The gallery of thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Penacony's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. Mm-hmm. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but... In hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. Mm, what could interesting. possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what she just experienced, and the answer is clear. Penacony's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form. Oh! Into the deep sea. Sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? Yep. The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivals. All about reputation, boys. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Yeah, can you blame them? Even the guest safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that she encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? Meme? How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Mm. Everyone could be lying on Penacony. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, Mm -hmm. For what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? I mean, are they giving us more stellar traits? Let me rephrase, then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. 
I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. What's that supposed to mean? This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. Not gonna like what you I see. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Oh God, I'm getting old, boys. Literally, take your time. Like, literally, every time I move, my bones are clicking. Right, okay. I'm going to be right back in a minute just because my computer is making a loud noise. I don't want it to overheat again, so I'm going to take a moment just to check on him, make sure he's okay, and I'll be right back with you.